Hi everybody! Welcome back to my third week of the webinar or webisodes or whatever we're calling it. Not sure yet. Is it a podcast, a video cast? I don't know. But here we are. So I thought this week we'd talk about um, holiday stress and the stressors and some things that maybe we can do about them. If you have any ideas, please feel free to write me on uh, Blackboard or using my um, address, email address. So first of all, what are the stressors? The never-ending to-do list, all the family gatherings, shopping, going to the malls, and they're so crowded, money, money for shopping, money you don't have or money you didn't plan to spend, kids are always underfoot, food, what are you preparing, what are you going to eat, what are you going to take places, and the pressure of gift giving and traveling. The roads can be sort of chaotic this year. So, what can we do about all that stress? First of all, sometimes you have to say no. You can't do everything, and just trying to add another um, activity, engagement, craft, kid-pleasing thing can add major unnecessary stress to your life and your family's. Every time you say yes to something, you're lengthening your to-do list. Try to say no. No, maybe next year. That's not gonna work out right now. Practice something ahead of time. Secondly, let go. You can't control everything as much as you'd like to. We often want things to be perfect for everyone around us, and that is way too much pressure. You're not in charge or in control of everyone's happiness. Things are gonna go wrong because they always do. Try to find a little bit of humor and a lot of grace in unfortunate situations. Our brains can only handle so much, and we already make millions of decisions each and every day. Did you know that we make around 200 decisions a day just on food? Throw in the holidays, and there's nothing but open files in our brains. Thirdly, try to focus on the reason for the holiday. You probably can't get your loved ones to do this, but you can do it. Take a moment in the middle of the, all the chaos, find a closet, <laughs> go somewhere, and just breathe. Time flies, in the next few years, everyone will be grown and onto their own family chaos. Fourth, if conflicts do arise, and they often do, ask yourself, is this a big deal or a little deal? If it's a little deal, then just let it go. If it's a big deal, try to table it for later, walk out of the room, breathe. Do you want to be right, or do you want to get through the night without a lot of trouble? Okay. I'm using kind of a side screen because I, I was reading a lot of stuff about holiday stress and I didn't want to forget my main points. So every time that I stop or change my um, what I'm going to say, I have to ch stop and change the slide. So that's why I'm stopping and starting. Anyway, if all else fails for the holidays, remember to laugh and have fun. Here are a few holiday, j holiday jokes you can share when things get tense, dull, or just plain weird. Why do reindeer stop for coffee on their Christmas run? Because they're Santa's Starbucks. How does Santa know whether we've been good or bad? It's called Facebook, people. How did the penguin build his home? It glued it together. Get it? Which hand is better to light the menorah with? Neither. It's best to light it with a candle. I asked the waiter if my latkes would be long. He said, no, sir. They'll be round. I know sometimes we break out trivia when things can, are tense and just try to take some, you know, make something light and try to get everybody involved in something other than whatever's going on in the world. Finally, on my back blackboard page, you'll find those jokes that I just shared. There are also some um, holiday movie ideas and some more coping strategies that may help you get through the winter break with less stress and a lot more sanity. If you have a parenting question or comments, please email me at ldholsinger at fcps.edu or com comment on my Blackboard site. Um, also, if, you're, you know, if, you're, if you feel like you have too much to do, don't be afraid to ask for help. Most of us love to help other people and we don't mind lending a helping hand. So let go, ask for help, help, and try to see the humor in, in all the chaos. Happy holidays everybody and see you in January.